So we can quickly start with the workshop. You all can put in a thumbs up if you all are able to hear me. So we will quickly start. Sonal, Pratima. Hi, are you all able to hear me? Is everyone able to hear me? Okay, great. All right. So we'll quickly go ahead and start with our today's session. Um, a very few people have logged in, um, but I won't be able to delay the session further. So those who miss out on the live session, they can go ahead and watch the video on my YouTube channel. So welcome to the ones who are present here. Uh, we are going to be having our free lotion bar workshop. It's going to be a cleansing lotion bar. Uh, it is something which uh, uh, you know we mainly use during the winters because of the climate, because of how our skin tends to get very dry. So this is something which is very moisturizing, very hydrating for your skin, uh, specifically during the winters. I am going to be giving you all uh, the ingredients that we are going to be using with the measurements. So please make sure you make a note of it because uh, we are not going to be giving any PDFs for free workshops. So whatever ingredients I am going to be talking about, uh, I will be giving you all the measurements for it, how much you all need to use to make the product. Now this particular uh, cleansing lotion bar is something which can be used even for kids, it can be used for elders, it can be used for all um, ages and all skin types. Uh, if at all you have a very sensitive skin, if you have a very dry or itchy flaky skin, again this is going to be very hydrating, very moisturizing for your skin. Uh, it just has to be applied like a lotion. It's a bar. It's in a consistency of a bar. It just has to be rubbed all over your body and you can wash it off. And when you wipe your skin, you will see that your skin feels very, very moisturized, very hydrated and very soft. So what ingredients will go into making of this product, I am going to quickly go ahead and tell you all. Um, also I am going to give you all a brief idea about why we are using these ingredients to make this product. So the first ingredient, very very important ingredient to make the lotion bar is these wax. Now we need a certain amount of wax to make the product hard. These are solid lotion bars. So these are something which need to solidify and it has to remain in the same solid consistency in any climate. So it's not like uh, you know during summers this is going to start melting. So we need to use a wax which has a very high melting point. We can go ahead and use waxes like these wax, candela wax, you can use a little bit of soy wax if you wish to or carnauba wax. Full soy wax or carnauba wax is not something which I will suggest. But if you want to make a vegan product, if you do not want to use beeswax, you can go ahead and replace it with candela wax. You can use 20, uh, for 100 gram formulation that we are going to be making, you will need 20 grams of beeswax. You can just write it down. The measurement for beeswax will be 20 grams. In case if you wish to replace it with candela wax, you will add exactly the same 20 grams. If at all the temperature where you are living is very high all the time, it's very hot, then what you can do is you can introduce, uh, you can add 15 grams of beeswax and you can add 5 grams of carnauba wax. So that will help keep your product in the solid form even if the temperature is very high. So that is what will help you out. Uh, the next ingredient, so your beeswax is 20 grams. The next ingredient, now for those who don't know how the ingredients look, I have individually removed it and kept it. So you will exactly know what type of ingredient you have to buy. I have this raw unrefined beeswax here. So this is what I will be using to make my product. Please do not go for the white paste, uh, uh, the you know, the white beeswax uh, uh, palettes that you get, the round ones. 
that is specifically used for making lip balms, any lip products because that's softer. So go for the yellow one, the unrefined beeswax, that will be fine. Uh, next ingredient what we have here is acetosterol alcohol. Uh, this is a thickener that we are going to be using in our product and it is a moisturizing agent. So along with giving a nice creamy thickness to our product, it is also going to help moisturize your skin, hydrate your skin and make your skin feel very soft. So this is how acetosterol alcohol looks for those who haven't seen it before, uh, who are going to be buying it for the first time. Uh, this is the moisturizing agent and the thickener for our product. Now, acetosterol alcohol will be 20 grams. We are going to be using 20 grams of acetosterol alcohol. Now, the next ingredient which we are going to be using, which is a, another thickener, a very important ingredient along with the thickener, it is also a chain of fatty acid. So, the cleansing properties which we are going to be getting, we are going to be getting from this ingredient that is a stearic acid. So stearic acid looks something like this, flaky um, white particles. And this is a, a fatty acid which helps to clean, your, you know, remove all the dirt and impurities from your body in a very conditioning way. So uh, this is what we are going to be using, which will give, which will leave a velvety soft after effect on your skin. That you will see once you have used it, rubbed it all over your skin and washed your skin, you will see the soft effect on your skin. So the stearic acid quantity that we are going to be using is 10 grams. 10 grams of stearic acid. Now the next ingredient which we are going to be using is emulsifying wax. This is a very very important ingredient. This is an emulsifier. It looks a little, it, it is a little bigger in size, the flakes, than the stearic acid. Now this is an emulsifier, a very important ingredient because we have these wax over here, we are going to introduce some oils and butters as well. So whenever you have all these oils, butters, waxes, you need, um, uh, you, you know, you need an emulsifying wax, an emulsifier, which when comes in contact with water, it will turn into a lotion. So what will happen is once you make these bars and then you, uh, you know, you, uh, apply some water on your body and you rub the lotion bar on your skin. So what happens is the moment that lotion bar comes in contact with the water on your skin, it will emulsify because of the emulsifier that is present and it will immediately convert it into a lotion. If you do not have emulsifying wax in your formulation, what will happen is you will feel very sticky and oily on your skin. There will be nothing that will remove the oiliness and greasiness from your skin. So this particular ingredient is very, very important when you are making the product. And the emulsifying wax that we are going to be using is 15 grams, 1-5, 15 grams. Now the next ingredients that we have here is our butter. So for our butter, we are going to be using kokum butter. Kokum butter will be 13 grams. Now this is a very conditioning, a very hydrating, very moisturizing butter which we are going to be using. If you have an extremely dry skin, you can also replace this to shea butter. Or uh, you can use mango butter as well, but I am using kokum butter because this is highly nourishing for the skin. 13 grams of cocoa butter. And next we have oil. The oil that we are going to be using is 20 grams. 20 grams of almond oil. This is the normal sweet almond oil which I am using. You can go ahead and replace this to any other carrier oil of your choice. Try to keep it a very lightweight carrier oil and not a very heavy carrier oil. Because when you apply this on your skin, you do not want any heaviness, any heavy feel on your skin. So I am using almond oil for this formulation. So almond oil will be 20 grams. Uh, I am going to go ahead and I am going to repeat all the measurements once again for those who have missed it out. Fragrance, you can use any of your choice, that will be 1 gram and you will add 1 gram vitamin E. Vitamin E acetate will be 1 gram. For any anhydrous product that we make which does not contain uh, water, which only contains oils, uh, we always add a little bit of an antioxidant so that later on there is no rancidity or no smell of the oil or butters that come out. 
So for that antioxidant, we are using vitamin E acetate, that will be 1 gram. So I will quickly repeat the entire, uh, you know, percentages of material used and we will start with the making of the product. So beeswax is 20 grams, cetosterol alcohol is 20 grams, stearic acid is 10 grams, emulsifying wax is 15 grams, almond oil is 20 grams, cocum butter is 13 grams, fragrance oil is 1 gram and vitamin E is 1 gram. So this is the measurement for the lotion bars that we are going to be making today. Now we will quickly, in case if you have any questions, if anyone has anything to ask, any confusion, please uh, send your message. Uh, you can write down your message. Uh, those who have subscribed will be able to send in messages. Those who have not will not be able to. So uh, if you have <coughs> any queries, you can just message in. I will take the questions later. So now we'll quickly start with the making of the product. So here I have my emulsifying wax, which is already measured. All this is measured as per 50 grams formulation. I'm not going to be making 100 grams right now. I have just taken half the quantity of what I have given you all. Um, alcohol name. Okay, I'll tell you. So here I have my emulsifying wax. All right. Now in the emulsifying wax, I'm going to add my cetosterol alcohol. For the person asking me what's the name of the alcohol, it's cetosterol alcohol. After that, I will go ahead and add my stearic acid to this. Then I'm going to add my beeswax, my cocum butter and at the end I'm going to add my almond oil. Now the vitamin E and the fragrance oils, that is something which I'm not going to be adding right now because we are going to go ahead and heat this entire mixture. Now, uh, I will just keep it in uh, the microwave to heat. It's going to take about 4 to 5 minutes because it has a very high content of wax. Uh, so, wax is generally, as I said, they have a very high melting point. So, it takes, uh, the temperature has to really go very high for the wax to start melting. Uh, that's the whole reason why we are not adding our vitamin E and our fragrance. Because generally what happens is when you um, add the fragrance or vitamin E at a very high temperature, it tends to lose all the properties. Alright, so we are not going to be adding this now, we will add it later. I will take questions in the meanwhile. Okay, preservative, we are not going to be using any preservative for this. Uh, we uh, Since this is an anhydrous product. That is, it does not contain any water, so it won't need a preservative, it will need an antioxidant so that the product does not spoil or the product does not, you know, the oils and the butters do not get rancid. So for that, we are going to go ahead and add our vitamin E acetate. Alcohol name, as I said, acetosterol alcohol. Emulsifying, nahi use kare or only beeswax, no. Uh, there are a lot of people who, uh, who always have a misconception about beeswax and emulsifying wax. Both these are completely different. Beeswax is not an emulsifying agent. Emulsifying agent is something when water and oil come in contact with each other, it forms into a lotion consistency. It combines the oil and water together. Beeswax does not do that. Beeswax is only used to harden a product. It is used in lip balms to give a nice uh, consistency, a nice softness to the pro uh, to your lip balm and to harden the lip balm. So it has absolutely nothing to do uh, like the, it, it does not function like the emulsifier. So beeswax and emulsifying wax are both completely different. You have to use emulsifying wax. Uh, otherwise, uh, your, uh, when you apply it on your body, you are not going to get that conversion of lotion on your body. Uh, can you please speak a little louder? I, I'm, am I not audible? Is my voice clear to everyone or am I not audible? Please let me know. Uh, see, vitamin E, vitamin E acetate are a little bit different. Vitamin E acetate is a much more advanced form of vitamin E. Uh, tocopherol acetate that is what uh, is this vitamin E that 
I generally use because this is used for skincare products as an antioxidant. But if you do not have this ingredient, you can always use the green capsule that you get. The, uh, you know, the green vitamin E capsule that also will work. Alright. And uh, any other questions because uh, the, uh, the waxes are still melting. Once it's completely melted, only then we will go ahead and uh, proceed further. So if you all have any other questions, please do ask. So we just wait till the waxes get completely melted. Now you will also need a mold like this. This is called a silicone mold for those who haven't uh, used this before. Uh, we are going to set our uh, lotion bars in this type of a silicone mold. So once it is done, once it is ready, we are going to pour it in this silicone mold and just leave it for a while. Generally, this solidifies very fast. It doesn't take a long time. So we just have to keep it in these type of molds till it doesn't solidify and then we can go ahead and unmold it. Now, this uh, these type of lotion bars does not need any curing period or any time frame, you know, after which you need to use it. You can unmold it and just wait for two to three hours and after that you can start using it. Okay, can you use color? It is more, yes, it is very moisturizing. For the person asking me, I, I think you joined in late. Uh, this is specifically for winters. Um, as I said in the beginning of the class, uh, this is a winter special ingredient uh, uh, product which is used mainly during winters only to hydrate, moisturize your skin because it makes your skin very, very soft. Now, all the butters, oils, everything is melted here all our solid products everything has got completely melted down now what we are going to do is we are going to add our vitamin E acetate and I will go ahead and add my fragrance to this for fragrance I am adding rose and lily of the valley just a combination of these two. For the fragrance, you can add any other fragrance of your choice. It's not necessary. You need to add the same fragrance which I am adding. If you want to add color to this, you can go ahead and add any pigment, color, any shade of pigment to this and you will get the color. But I am not going to go ahead and add any color to this. I am just going to keep it as it is because once this uh, starts to cool down it will get a very nice um, you know cream color I'm just pouring this into the mold now so this is a 50 gram batch which we have made Okay, so I've got three full bars of uh, lotion uh, bars here with 50 grams that I have gone ahead and made. So now you will see, I will show it to you here as this cools down in the container itself. You will see the color starts becoming a little creamish color. This is how the lotion bar looks. This is something which was already pre-made and unmolded. Now, if at all uh, these uh, do not cool down completely because this takes some time, I cannot unmold it immediately. But this is what was pre-made. So, you all get an idea that when you all make these lotion bars, this is how it's going to look. And this is, uh, the, no color has been added. This is a natural color only with all the ingredients that we have added. cleanser. Uh, I think the person who is asking about cleansing has joined in late. Please go back straight to uh, the start of the video. Uh, we did start at sharp 4 o'clock. So I have given all the description even about what are the cleansing agents that is that makes this a cleansing lotion. 
so you can go ahead and uh, just go through all that so you'll get an idea why this is called a cleansing bath because it has ingredients which gives a very nice cleansing uh, properties to your skin all right that's the reason why we call this a cleansing bath so along with cleansing your skin this is also going to moisturize this is going to hydrate this is going to soften your skin as well so it has all these properties to get can be used as soap um uh, see this uh, cannot be used every day as soap because what happens is this does not have lather it has cleansing agents like the stearic acid the emulsifying wax but it cannot be used as a regular soap because it does not contain any surfactants it does not give us a lather which we need to clean our body thoroughly now this is something for a topical use where uh, say uh, every alternate day just to get a very nice soft effect soft feel on your skin you can go ahead maybe uh, if you have a shower twice a day maybe once you can have shower with your normal soap and one time you can have shower with this lotion bar so what will happen is it will balance the uh, uh, you know dryness of your skin if you have a very dry skin especially during the summer uh, i'm sorry especially during the winters um it gets very dry sometimes your skin feels very stretchy especially on your legs on your hands so this will balance that if at all you want to have a shower with this but i would not suggest completely stop having shower with other with your normal soap you can keep this for 3 to 4 times a week you can have a shower with this lotion bar so you will see the difference on your skin also kids can use this it is very very kid friendly i get a lot of people asking me something more uh, you know something different for kids something which is kid friendly so this is something which can be safely used for kids and it will only soften their skin even more all right sensitive skin yes uh, for the person asking me yes this can be used for people having very very sensitive skin uh there are people nothing suits their skin they apply anything on their skin and they start getting uh redness rashes flaky skin so this is very suitable because this has all naturally derived ingredients there are absolutely no chemicals in this product so it is very very safe for all skin types now this is going to take some time to um solidify so we are just going to keep this to solidify once they are completely solid i am going to unmold them and i'm sure most of you all are present in the group i'm going to share the pictures of these three soaps i'm sorry of these three lotion bars in the group so you all can see how exactly they look once they are unmolded from the uh, from these molds and if you all can see how it has become a little creamish color over here uh this is what is left and maybe after 2 to 3 days this will be the set color this cream color will be the set color where uh, what your lotion bars are going to remain if you don't like this color if you want to add pink blue or any other color add a little uh, pigment a very small amount of pigment to this and you can completely get a different color so this was a very basic uh, uh, lotion uh, cleansing lotion workshop uh, cleansing lotion bar workshop Uh, also for those who are new into my group uh, i am a skin care formulator uh, doing uh, into this for almost 10 years and now i take workshops from last 5 years so in case if you want to learn any advanced formulations i take almost about 40 to 50 different types of workshops of skin care products so in case anyone is interested into selling their products uh, you know into starting their own skin care business you can definitely connect with me for the workshop details if you want to learn advanced formulations that are very good for selling also they are used for self use as well but these are a little more advanced formulations that we do during our workshops so those of you who are interested can definitely connect with me my whatsapp number for those who are not in my group my whatsapp number is 9167317669 this is my whatsapp number so you all can connect with me for all workshop details one free workshop is done every month the rest are paid workshops so those of you all who are in my group you all get the information of all the free and the paid workshops that i have all right 
So I hope the um, the class was informative. I hope the workshop was worthwhile. Please do make this, share it in the group so that all the others can also get motivated to make these products. Do share uh, on my YouTube channel. I have a lot of skincare product videos. Uh, in case any of your family, friends, or anyone is interested into skincare, they want to start learning basic how to make. You can share the channel link the details with your. Uh, friends and your known people as well. Thank you so much everyone for being a part of today's workshop and you all have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you.